Hey everybody, Mark Peterson here, doing a dangerous game hunt in Southern Africa right now. And I wanted to go over what I do and what I use in the field once I leave the Land Cruiser, pick up a track and take off. Because when you do that, you wanna make sure that you have everything you need on you and also readily available. And I'm gonna go over the reasons why I use certain things and why I have certain things with me. I'm gonna start at my head, work my way all the way down. Obviously, sunglasses, extremely important for Africa because it's always sunny. But another reason why I always wear them is when you're walking through the brush, you don't get hit in the face or in the eye. If you take something in the eye, that's a quick end to the hunt. I also have a neck gaiter. It's extremely sunny here, so I always try to protect my neck and my ears just because you can be gone and in the field for up to 12, 13 hours all in a single day. With that in my pocket, I always have suntan lotion with me as well. Again, that's me. Trust me, the sun burns a little brighter here. Obviously, want to have a rifle that you know and trust. I have a 375 from Gunworks. Works extremely well. Topped with a Mark V from Leopold. Um, I'm a big scope guy. You need something that can take a beating and this Leopold can take a beating. I do have the front scope cap cover on here so you can easily flip on and off. So when you know you're going to be walking through some thick stuff, I usually have it down. When not, I have it open, just ready to roll at any point in time. Now with my 375, what I do here, normally if you're hunting Cape Buffalo or something like that, you want your first shot to be a soft. So I have a soft end then followed by solids. Now if you're going after something else, you want all your shots to be solid. So what I do on my shell belt here is I have solids on the front and softs in the back so I can always go back and forth between what I need. As I work my way down, again, you need good binos. I've got the Leopolds here. They're strong and dependable. As you can tell, these are beat up because I've been wearing them for a couple weeks straight down here. Now, one of the common questions I get, why do you have your binos to your side versus having a bino pouch or something like that when you're sheep hunting? The reason is pretty simple. You wanna have as much free space and be able to move as quickly in front because things can happen quickly here. So say you're stalking in on a herd of Cape Buffalo and something changes and they turn and come at you and you gotta get everything you need right in front it's extremely tough to be dealing with that bino pouch. So that's why I always wear them off to the side. They're always when I need them, but they're out of the way when I don't need them. Again, shell pouch went over. I, my personal is I use the solids up front, softs in the back. Again, I always got a multi-tool because you don't know when you need it, but you always got it. In my pocket, I also carry my sport ears. So when I'm moving in on a stock, I've got these in. When, I'm, when not, I've got them right in my pocket, ready to roll. I do recommend also having your cell phone with you because there are amazing things around every corner here and trust me, you're gonna want those pictures to remember them. As far as clothing, you want something that's light and breathable for a shirt. So I've been um, using Bass Pro's Worldwide Sportsman Series and the Ascend Series, which have been amazing. Again, you want something that is breathable and if you get it wet from sweat, that dries quick. These are amazing. Same thing with the pants. Most important thing, you're gonna walk a lot and I mean a lot. So you want shoes that are extremely broken in and that you're comfortable with. I've got the Mendels right here. They work amazing. That's it, it's a simple. Yeah.